As I was browsing the internet today, I stumbled upon a few articles about this ECMAScript safe assignment operator draft uh, proposal. And um, the problem is that proposal will not happen. But uh, as you can see, there are many articles about this. And uh, some of the articles are good. And they mentioned that this was a very early proposal, not even not even at stage zero, and it will likely not happen. But other articles were uh, talking about this as it is happening and is a language feature that is new and upcoming in ECMAScript, which is just not true. If you go to the proposal GitHub page, it is already planned to change to a different thing, uh, try expressions, and the author is looking for help on rewriting. And uh, there's a lively discussion here about that and uh, some, pro some ideas flying around about whether uh, try expressions are a better idea and some, it's an interesting discussion. You can check it out. But I wanted to, to make a quick video because if you do like that syntax and I do, you can achieve it uh, without changing ECMAScript, but with simple language features. And here's the syntax in question. A new operator was proposed, safe assignment with a question mark equal, and then a promise or a throwable function and that returns a tuple style array with an error and data second. And this is supposed to handle cases like this, which is extremely frequent pattern in JavaScript. You fetch data with the REST API, you parse it to JSON, and then you validate parse further the JSON. All three of these can fail as mentioned here, and you need to handle them with a single try block or three try blocks, multiple try blocks. It depends on how you want to handle the errors and what the errors uh, really are. So this does, improve the syntax a bit of the try catch statement by avoiding nesting, especially. You just get this tuple and then you check if there's an error. Get a second tuple, check if there's an error. I like that. In some of my code bases, this can improve the syntax and the re readability severely. So as I mentioned, this proposal was dropped. Let me, I mean, we'll see how it develops. I cannot say right now what it's going to be, but the predominant idea I see flying around in the discussions is to have this try expression that evaluates to something similar. So it still might happen. Let me change that to some URL. But as I mentioned, this is achievable with simple language features today. And you don't need to wait if it can improve your code base significantly and easily. Uh, and the author has an NPM package, in fact, I have it open, called Tupoet, which does just that. First of all, it's a little bit weird because there's this tupoit register function that extends the promise prototype to implement that, which, as he mentions, is a terrible idea and you shouldn't do it. It's not a good practice to extend objects as promise and in their prototype as very bad. But you can avoid that and still use this package by importing the core function and wrapping your promises in it, which is a good thing. Now, let me show you how that would look like. I could import that after I install the npm module and just wrap my actual promise code in that T function and still use that syntax. Done. And if you look at this module, you don't even need to use it. It's quite simple syntactic sugar. Let me open the index.js. It's just a simple function that wraps the try catch syntax. And if the promise passed right here is evaluated, it returns no as an error. And Otherwise, if it catches an error, it just does a few checks if error is an error and then returns it. Otherwise, it returns a new tuple error class that just uh, is made to avoid checking if this is undefined or something. Uh, but yeah, that's quite simple. And you can even write such a function in your own code base. In fact, if you write it, you could opt or if you import it, you can import it as try, and that would be a great syntax, I think, because it's so easily understandable if you haven't looked at the implementation of what this is, which uh, you probably wouldn't have if you're a new dev to that code base, you will read error data, and then you have await try fetch URL. That's in fact very close to what I think the try expressions proposal would be, which should be something like try await fetch URL. You have very similar syntax achieved with current language features and a simple functional style. I like it a lot and I might consider using it in some of my code bases to improve readability because I have servers and Node.js services that need to handle a lot of exceptions with try catch currently. 
And that would really save a lot of nesting and lines of code, which I like. And especially it will make the code base more readable. So I wanted to do a quick video to share that with you in case you've stumbled upon articles about this proposal and uh, give you some idea about its actual state because some articles really don't mention that this is not happening and it's actually a very early proposal. And you can in fact achieve that today. Take care.